on quiz six, uh, here's what we're trying to do. We're looking at the graph y equals the square root of x, and we're trying to fit a rectangle underneath the graph where one corner of the rectangle is at the point uh, 9, 0, and the other opposite corner of that rectangle is touching the graph y equals the square root of x. Now I can take this point x equals a and move it back and forth between 0 and 9. If x is all the way down at 0, then it takes this rectangle and just flattens it out along the x-axis. And then I, get, uh, uh, I move it along and the rectangle changes shape, so here it's a wide flat rectangle. At this point we get the rectangle that we see. When x gets very close to 9, then we'll see this tall skinny rectangle. And then when x equals 9, the rectangle goes away. So what I'm interested in is some questions about the area and the perimeter of the rectangle. So we want to maximize the area and perimeter of the rectangle. So we're trying to maximize the area and the perimeter of the rectangle. So moving the x equals a back and forth, moving x equals a back and forth will make uh, like a flat rectangle with zero area and, uh, well, perimeter of nine, kind of, because, you know, but there's two sides that are zero, so nine, zero, nine, zero, so 18. Or this rectangle up here, if we go all the way to the side. So for a fixed value of a, we can figure out the length of the rectangle down here and the height of the rectangle up here. I probably call this the width and the height. So when a equals, for example, one, so if a is, is equal to one, then this is gonna be eight down here and the height will also be one. So we can calculate the perimeter and the area of the rectangle. If a is equal to four, then the width down here will be nine minus four or five, and then the height will be two. And so that gives you, you can calculate the perimeter and the area that way. So then the question becomes, if we just call the, uh, if we just put this point at a, what is an expression for the area of the rectangle? What's an expression for the perimeter of the rectangle? And how can we maximize those values? by taking a derivative, setting it equal to zero, and solving. So that's our, our goal, to write the area. Area is equal to length times width, and this needs to be in terms of A. And the perimeter is 2L plus 2W, and this also needs to be written in terms of A. And up here, we could say that this is the length, and then the width will be that distance there. So somehow write the width in terms of A, and then write the length in terms of A. Any questions? So that should get you started on going through this problem. And I think I kept on the preview, I kept reprinting the rectangle. So you can keep having it to refer to. Any questions? All right, let's pause the video here and look at some other questions.